And regarding offering salah, it is mentioned in the glorious Quran. In a nutshell, in Surah Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 144. al Masjid al-Haram. Then turn thy faces to the sacred mosque. Wherever you are, turn thy faces in that direction. So it is compulsory that when we offer salah, we have to turn our faces towards the sacred mosque. That is Masjid al-Haram in Mecca. And if I happen to travel in India, and if I do not know the Qibla, that is the direction, and if I have to ask a non-Muslim the direction, I will not ask him where is the west. I will ask him where is the east and I will face in the opposite direction. Because he may think that we Muslims, we are worshipping the western world. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran, in Surah Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 238. And when you stand for salah, stand in a devout frame of mind. And reciting Surah Fatiha is compulsory in every salah. It is mentioned in the glorious Quran in Surah Hijr, chapter number 15, verse number 87. Verily, well, we have given thee the oft repeated seven verses and the grand Quran. Verily we have given thee the oft repeated seven verses that is Surah Fatiha that is called as the minor Quran and the other major portion of the Quran is called as the grand Quran. And the word Ruku is mentioned in the glorious Quran 13 times. And the word Sujood is mentioned 92 times in the glorious Quran. And there is a separate chapter, chapter number 32 that is called as Surah Sajda that is a prostration. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran, in Surah Al-Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 43. Ya Maryam, uqnuti li rabbiki wasjudi warka'i ma'arraki'in. O Mary, prostrate and bow down with those who bow down. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Hajj, chapter number 22, verse number 77. Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu rka'u wasjudu wa'abudu rabbakum wafa'alul khayra la'allakum tuflihun. O you who believe. Prostrate, bow down, and adore your Lord, and humble yourselves that ye may prosper. And all the prophets of Almighty God did the sujood. It is mentioned in the book of Genesis, chapter number 17, verse number 3, that Abraham fell on his face. It is mentioned in the book of Numbers, chapter number 20, verse number 6, that Moses and Aaron fell on their faces. It is mentioned in the book of Joshua, chapter number 5, verse number 14, Joshua fell on his face. It is mentioned in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 26, verse number 39, that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, when he enters the Garden of Gets name, he takes a few steps further and he fell on his face. So all the prophets of Almighty God, they fell on their faces. And no acrobat, no gymnast can also do better than the way we Muslims do, putting the highest point of our body, that is the forehead, to the lowest point of the ground. And as I said earlier, that the psychologists, they tell us that the mind it is not directly under our control but our body is directly under our control. So, there's no better way than putting the highest point of the body, that is the forehead, to the lowest point of the ground, and saying, Subhana Rabbil Allah, Glory be to Him is the Most High, thrice. And regarding the minute details, we have to look at our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It is mentioned in the glorious Quran, Ati Allah wa Ati Rasul. Obey Allah and obey His Messenger. It is mentioned in several places in the glorious Quran. In Surah Al Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 32. Surah Al Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 132. Surah Nisa, chapter number 4, verse number 59. Surah Maida, chapter number 5, verse number 192. Surah Anfal, chapter number 8, verse number 1. Surah Anfal, chapter number 8, verse number 20. Surah Anfal, chapter number 8, verse number 46. Surah Nur, chapter number 24, verse number 54. Surah Nur, chapter number 24, verse number 56. Surah Muhammad, chapter number 47, verse number 33. It is mentioned in Surah Mujadila, chapter number 58, verse number 13. As well as in Surah Taghaboon, chapter number 64, verse number 12. So all these verses, they say that Atiyu Allah wa Atiyu Rasul. Obey Allah and obey His Messenger. And it is mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, Volume 1, Book of Adhan, Chapter number 18, Hadith number 604, as well as Sahih Bukhari, Volume number 9, Hadith number 352. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Sallu kama ra'aytumuni usalli. Pray as you see me pray.